everyone, this is me, Queen Lilani, and this is my entry to Threadbangers contest. The rules of the contest were to create a video tutorial based on something you created yourself, whether it was um, a home decor, a costume, something you knitted, etc. So I decided to create a tutorial video based on how to make your own cookie cutter. Now, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, I was actually in the mood to make some cookies and I didn't have any cookie cutters so instead of going out and buying one I decided to just be innovative and make my own so um, this is what I made um, I have a, a quite a few actually I'll show you some I have like a star that I made I think it's like a star and I have a huge heart and I have a little heart and I even have um, a Mickey Mouse ears and I have others but but this one's actually funny because my best friend ac asked me to make her some Mickey Mouse ears because she loves Disney and she didn't think I can make it <laughs> so I did and she hasn't seen it yet so this will be the first time she sees it so this is your cookie cutter Joanne that's my best friend so the question that people ask is, does it actually work, you know? And it does, because these are the cookies that I just made for Valentine's Day. And I don't know if you can't see it very well, but I'll show you a picture in a close-up. And if you want to learn how to make this these cookies, just click the link at the side, and it'll take you directly to the tutorial on how to make them. Now, first off, what are you going to need to make this? Well... What I did was I used a regular aluminum pan that I had already um, that was used and we just, you know, washed it and rinsed it. You're going to need this, a ruler, a pair of scissors. So if you want to learn how to make some cookie cutters, keep on watching. So let's get started. So grab your tin pan, make sure that it's completely clean, and cut a strip at any width that you like, like I've done here. Then take your ruler and fold one edge of the side using your ruler as a guide. Be careful because the edge can be kind of sharp. Then flip it over and do the same and fold that edge as well. Make sure that it's folded till it's flat. Then taking both ends, insert and join the two ends together and fold it to secure it in place. Then you can start shaping your cookie cutter any shape that you like, just like I've done here. <laughs> 